Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to show you how to write a blog post with ChatGPT. There's a few prompts that you're going to be using with this. Very easy to do and I've already gone through it. So what I want to do is go back and talk about the process and give you some tips as we move along. So here is going to be the prompts. First, we have write an outline for an article called X. Pretty much you just need to know the title. You can always ask ChatGPT for titles if you want, but you know, it's pretty easy to do. Next, we have write an introduction paragraph or two. I also have a section where it says make sure that you include you can have this, you can not have this. If there's anything specific you want to talk about in the intro in the paragraphs or the closing, that's that's what that is there for. Then we have write a paragraph or two about which we're going to utilize multiple times. And of course, a closing paragraph. So this is going to be the title as well. You can change this to X's if you want. But once you know the title, you're going to plug it in there and there as well. So with that in mind, let's begin. The first thing is write an outline for an article called, and I put three tips for lowering your golf score. Here is our outline. So we have our intro, we have our big three tips with also some things to talk about and our conclusion. So what I did is create a new doc where I have all of this. Uh, I'll show you how it works as we continue on. So after that, second step is going to be write an introduction paragraph or two. Make sure that you include. So here's our intro. We want to include the importance of lowering golf score or the purpose of the article. Keep in mind, you don't have to use these just because it says it in there doesn't mean you can't use your own. Like you could say, talk about the importance of lowering your golf score and also talk about how this can work for beginners or grizzled veterans, you know, something like that. So that was our next thing. Write an introduction paragraph or two. Make sure that you include those two things. And here is going to be our intro. Like I said, a paragraph or two. You can always change that around and say like two paragraphs, three paragraphs. If you want more information, that's a way of doing it. You can always extend it out, you know, write one full paragraph about the importance of lowering a golf score in the intro. Then, of course, write another full paragraph about the purpose of this. OK, so we crossed off the intro. Now we're going to be doing this three times. We want to write a paragraph for each of these three big tips. So first time is going to be write a, a let's see, go back here. There we go. Write a paragraph or two about pract practicing proper swing mechanics. Make sure you include these three things. Then we're going to go to the next step. Write a paragraph or two about focusing on short game techniques. Make sure that you include these aspects. Last but not least, <laughs> write a paragraph or two about the mental preparation course management. So if you look down below, we're going to see that we have this right here about practice proper swing mechanics. I noticed that when I put this in capitalized letters, or at least the PPSM here, it actually shows up right there and it says practice proper swing mechanics. So you'd probably want to lowercase that and say practicing proper swing mechanics because it'll just like copy and paste it there. So it should say practicing proper swing mechanics is one of the key elements instead of just practice proper swing mechanics, which I think the other way is better. So we do have a few uh, paragraphs about this. That would be our first step which I have right here. So this is going to be our title. This is going to be our intro. Probably do practicing. I think that sounds better. Okay. Then of course is going to be the next section. Write a paragraph or two focusing on short game techniques. Make sure that you include the aspects that were in that one. So if we scroll back right here, so focusing on short game techniques, make sure you talk about, and like I said, you can always use these. You can take some out, you can add your own, but going back here, so we have the same thing and now we have a few paragraphs and this is what we have right here focus on short game techniques uh, if at any time you want to read this i'm not going to go through all of it sometimes i do sometimes i don't but you can always pause it just to kind of get an idea of the content that comes out of this it's pretty good i skimmed it myself and almost last but not least we have our last paragraph about mental preparation and course management make sure that you include an explanation of the mental game importance of course management and how to prepare mentally for each round of golf so there we are with our three paragraphs. So that's something that's just repeated three times and it'll be more than three if you want, depending on how much of an outline you have, like the longer the outline is, the longer your content's gonna be. And like I said, you can also stretch this out if needed. So the last thing is going to be the conclusion. Write a closing paragraph about, and then we're just putting our title here. I will show you this right here. So write a closing paragraph about X and you just replace this with your title. Make sure that you include summary of the tips, final thoughts on the importance of lowering golf score and encouragement to implement the tips for improvement. So we have a few paragraphs here. I copied that. And then of course I moved it right here. Did I get them all? Might've missed one, but let's see. Yes, I did. One second. Something crazy is going, there we go, much better. And then of course I have this on top, I'm just gonna delete this. And we can see how many words, it's probably around 800 I believe, uh, tools, word count, uh, 852. So yes, 
very quickly, obviously, you didn't see me go through and like have, you know, chat GPT load everything up every time. But this is a very straightforward process that I've talked about many times. Not only can you use it for blog posts and articles, but you can use it for scripts or pretty much anywhere where you need a specific amount of content. A video script is a good one. So if your video was going to be three tips for lowering your golf score, the main three things you're going to talk about, like big tip number one practicing proper swing mechanics. Number two, focusing on short game techniques. And of course, number three, mental preparation and course management. So you can really be very flexible with this. Uh, but that about does it. I hope you got some value out of this video. I like talking about creating blog posts because it's more of just combining prompts and going from there. Once you have the steps, it's pretty easy to do. You just need your own title. And like I said, even if you don't have a title, you can ask ChatGPT for like 10 of them and then roll from there. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.